You ever be done post something, right, and then somebody comments something, and you don't even know what they saying? You really don't understand what they saying? And then you got the people that comment, and it's like, dang, I ain't know I was talking, like, directly to you. But what's up, though? Welcome to my world now. And I ain't gonna lie. I'm running to be governor of South Carolina, so now I'm in a place where I can't even respond. You know what I'm saying? Because that would not be a uh, professional of me. You know what I'm saying? But you best to believe I do be feeling a little way about certain stuff. Not really feeling a way about it. But I know what type of person I am and I like I like to I like to play. I like to, you know, I like to feed into some BS sometimes. As people talk trash, I like to talk trash back because I know I'm I I'd rather talk trash all day and never get violent. We could just joke around all day. We could crack a joke all day. I was one of those jokers. Like we could joke all day. But don't get upset when I hurt your feelings though. Don't don't be ready to come spin my block. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't be don't be ready to come pop my top, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just just know that uh, I'm not gonna be as hurt by the words that you could say to me that that you are as you are when I say what I got to say to you. I'm, I got very thick skin. Anything a person possibly could say to me, I already evaluated it in my head and got comfortable with it in my head to the place where what they saying don't matter, especially when I know what my purpose and my goal is, right? And I say all that to say this, to the state of South Carolina, do y'all want a governor that you can relate to or maybe not, but do you want a governor that can hold themselves accountable when they wrong? Or do you want somebody that's likely to point fingers at others or turn the blind eye to certain things and certain needs? Now, I don't know what the other candidate's doing. I'm just giving examples of bad examples. They could be great examples. But for me, I'm looking at it like this. Wouldn't you, the citizens of South Carolina, love to keep more money in your pocket by eliminating state taxes? Now, I know, I know, I know, I know. A lot of people may disagree with this. Who would disagree with it personally? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's some people that would, right? And I do understand that, you know, these income tax dollars do help the things that need the help in the sense of like they fix roads, they help pay for just different things that the city needs, right? But see, the same way income taxes affects everyone when it comes out of their paycheck, it can still affect everyone in a positive way by never coming out in the first place, right? And you got to look at it like this. Those tax dollars only hurt, help certain communities in the sense of certain roads in certain communities still don't get fixed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They still ain't getting them potholes fixed. They still ain't getting the, 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 proper, the proper things done, right? I had to ask myself this question. Would I be mad about running into a thousand potholes on the way home if I knew that the money I'm making, I was keeping most of it so I could just buy new tires and it really wouldn't matter, it really wouldn't hurt me, it really wouldn't hurt at all? Yeah. yeah. But the fact that I'm paying taxes, I expect for things to get done quick and fast and in a hurry. The fact that the state of South Carolina is getting tax on income at 6.4%. Don't get me wrong, that's better than previous years, because previous years is at 7%, but I mean, 6.4, come on, man. You might as well have kept it at 7. All I'm saying is options to this thing, man. Yeah, the best option everybody I think would agree would be eliminate state taxes. Now, what I understand about that is the question would be, okay, well, where the money go come from to help the city? That's good, to help cities and to help the state of South Carolina. Where that money go come from, right? And I've been thinking about it because I was like, yeah, because, you know, other states, the states that don't have income tax, they don't have income tax simply because those states generate enough revenue 
to take care of themselves, right? And South Carolina don't have very many entrepreneurs that's just, like, taking care of the state of South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? And if they is, they're not doing it for the state of South Carolina. They're doing it for themselves while they're in the state of South Carolina. You dig what I'm saying? So, I ain't going to sit here and lie to you. I wouldn't agree to just eliminate the state income tax because I done done my research and I know that would not be a good idea. But maybe if we did it at a flat rate, I think a lot of people would appreciate that. We're not going to take away state taxes because our state don't gener generate enough money and enough revenue to uh, cover that. You get what I'm saying? But to make it at a flat rate. So let's say, let's lower it a little bit more. Let's take it about 5%. Let's take it to a 5% and let's have it at a flat rate. Therefore, meaning no matter how much money you make, if you're making 5000 a month, 5%. If you're making $5 million a month, 5%. And I think I'm pretty sure the people are like that because it's fair, you know? Every, everybody fairly taxed, meaning huh, you taxed because of what you're making, and I'm taxed because of what I'm making, but guess what? It's the same tax. Your 5% might just be different from my 5%. It is what it is. You get what I'm saying? So that's something that y'all need to think about. That's what I would try to do for the state of South Carolina because I thought about it. You know what I'm saying? Of course, a way we probably could eliminate it completely is by legalizing marijuana and legalizing sports betting and then taxing those two things to cover the cost. But... I know that the citizens in South Carolina, well, I ain't going to say all of them, but the, the majority, right? The majority, they don't want legalization of marijuana. And I, and I ain't going to, I'm not mad at them for that. But we got to figure out a way to keep some money in our people's pocket, man. Because a lot of people leave in South Carolina, and I don't like that. I, I, and we need more people coming here. And if you make this thing 5% tax at a flat rate, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will come to South Carolina. Because at the end of the day, this is definitely one of the best states to live in, in my eyes. I mean, I done tried to move a few times, and I couldn't leave. So, yeah, South Carolina definitely where it's at. We just got to, you know, think more about the people. And that's what I'm here to do when y'all elect me for governor 2026. I love y'all. Have a beautiful day. And really think about this thing, man. Because I'm, I'm trying to make it to where it makes sense. And I done done my research. Now, I'm going to come back with another little speech at some point. But that's all I got for now. Love y'all. Remember, Devontae Frederick, governor of South Carolina, 2026, man. Yeah. We're going to be mid lay. Lay. Tell them see you later. Lay. Lay, lay. Lay, lay. Say see you later. Ha, 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 ha.